Hey everyone, Clea here. Today I wanted to go on the topic of using an add-on uh, and a system that I think a lot of maybe returning players from retail or just newer players to Final Fantasy XI in general have not been taking advantage of, which is it's a huge help in the raiding scene and kind of your day-to-day -day gameplay, and that is using job-specific Lua's with the Lua Sheeta cast add-on. At first glance, I think many people hear about it and they kind of, they see like some of the stuff that's involved and they kind of either freak out at how complex it looks or they feel like they can get on by with raiding without it, uh, kind of playing, if you will, playing playing it manually. But I just wanted to show off some of the benefits of using the system and how you can get started and get kind of fast access to it. So right now I'm on Ranger, so that's what I'll be demonstrating most of the, the add-on benefits. So to get started, you'll have to have Lua Sheeta Cast downloaded onto your computer, put that in your add-on folder like you would with any other add-on. And you also want to download Notepad++. It's just like Notepad, but it's, it shows text and coding in higher detail and, and has more options for manipulating text. I can show you an example of it right here, just really quick. So this is Notepad++. And once you have all the add-ons set up on your computer, you're also going to want to make a folder I can show right here for where you'll be putting the individual Lua's for each job. Uh, this is a, an example of what I have. Some of these haven't been updated in a while, uh, but for example, I have some, some jobs that I leveled recently or I've been using in Raid, Black, uh, Black Mage, Bard, Red Mage, Ranger, Summoner, and White Mage. And you want to you want to label them something like this that is easily identifiable to you know so you can pick up on it but if you have very specific uh, settings that you want to swap out you can do like combat bard and then some other version of bard uh, but I would recommend you just stick everything into one it's just up to you though it's very flexible so let me get that moved over here to get started when you're in game and you want to utilize, usually if you if you want, you can have all the Lua Sheeta cast stuff auto load when you start, but to manually load it, you'll type in add on load Lua Sheeta cast. It's already loaded, so I can show you what it looks like if it, if it wasn't. Uh, we can unload it and then reload it. And it'll say loaded profile Ranger because the game identifies that I am on Ranger. Uh, and then there's it shows some of the other uh, specific information from like who wrote it and what version I'm using. So the main point of this add-on is that depending on the circumstances and the scenario that you are in, such as, for example, like you're in combat, you are moving, you're out of combat, you're doing this, that, I mean, basically anything, the game will manipulate your gear equipped, your equipped gear to be the best for that situation. Uh, let's say that uh, I'm moving around right now. This would be my idle set because I'm not really doing much. I'm not engaging, I'm not trading, I'm not crafting, I'm just kind of like chilling. I will have my trotter boots equipped. And as you can see, it has a movement speed bonus of 12%. So whenever I'm moving, that's what I want equipped. Now, when I am engaging in combat, the gear will swap out into gear-oriented, or uh, combat-oriented gear. So, for example, we have this wild sheep here. Let's get into attack. And when I use my gun, you will see my gear swap out that benefits combat the most for just a ranged, uh, normal ranged attack. So we'll shoot. Let me see. Let me put my... Uh, Ranger macros on. There we go. Sorry about that. And when we shoot, my boots changed, my pants, you know, all the 
all these different pieces of gear changed out. And then when combat ends, it'll switch back. So I have my, you know, my movement boots and all that stuff. I didn't have to press anything. I didn't have to do anything. The game, uh, the Lua manipulates my equipment to best suit what I'm being involved with. Now, when you're testing these things out, you could do Lua Shida cast debug on. This puts, this enables debug mode and basically it will detail out everything that's happening so you can make sure that the game is processing what you need to be processed. So, for example, uh, I just fired a bullet and let's say I want to scavenge it. You can see down here, uh, equipping hunter socks plus one defeat. Now the hunter socks, Check those out. The hunter socks enhance my scavenge effect, which means if I had fired more than one bullet, let's say I fired like 50 bullets, it'll give me a bonus to how many bullets I'm uh, recovering. It says action ending and then equipping trotter boots because it equipped the, the boots that would benefit scavenging. And once that it has accomplished what it's supposed to do, it realizes that it's no longer needed and it switches back to my trotter boots because I'm going to be running along. Uh, we can also do this with, let's say, we'll do barrage. And again, you can watch my gear and all that, but here it's showing I'm in combat. Now here's the thing, starting from right over here, where I first used Barrage, look at all these different equipment swaps that would have had to commence to get the maximum efficiency out of that shot. It's pretty much impossible, even if you had equipment manually macroed out to different keys, um, for all that to happen, because this is all happening faster than, and faster than a second. So it, it equipped the Hunter Bracers, which buffs my barrage ability. It's swapping out everything for maximum damage. Uh, now, in the case of barrage, it's probably swapping out things for accuracy because you want to make sure you get like every hit possible. But that's besides the point. Point is, just by having that uh, command in my Ranger Lua available and ready, it does all that for you, and then as soon as the, the mob is dead, it resets back to your idle set. When you're doing like a raid or you're in a boss fight, you typically won't have time if you were to manually do all these macro swaps and everything, which is why the add-on is so good. For now, I'm going to show what the add-on looks like as far as text goes. Now, for most people who haven't used this, when they first see all this, they kind of have a heart attack and they're like, there's no way I could ever learn how to do this. It's too complicated. I was the same exact way. So the thing is, with most endgame link shells, or you can go into the Horizon Discord with the job specific channels, you usually can find a pinned Lua that you just right click and download. Uh, for example, the Ranger Lua, you would save it like we have over here. You load it and it's already good to go. There's usually a very uh, dependable player that has set up their own Lua that knows how to do all this, this coding. And you would just look and if you're in, let's say you just hit, you know, 75 as a Ranger, you don't have too much in game gear. You could kind of go down the list and go, okay, what gear do I need to fulfill all these different sets? Uh, so if you need like, um, we'll go with like drone earrings for range accuracy. You could put drone earrings in your, in your inventory. You could, you know, I need an optical hat because I need more accuracy. Uh, I need a faith torque for this. And 
you just kind of go down the list and fulfill all this. Now, if you don't have specific equipment at the time, you can just put in your own, whatever, whatever the best equipment you have at the time is for that. There's just some nuances, I would say, to watch out for. Whenever there's a, a word like this, like scouts, where you have the apostrophe as if, you know, the word belongs to something, you do need to put in a slash instead of just having S-C-O-U-T apostrophe S. You always need to add in this slash over here, just like this example in Kieran's uh, in Matt's cap, uh, just to watch for that. If you do make an error somewhere, when you are in the game and you try, the Lua tries to fulfill that command, <clears throat> The game will tell you, you know, uh, on line eight, section this, there is a error, and that is why your mask cap isn't being equipped. That's when you can just go back to here and go, you know, does it look right? And then you make the changes. For Notepad++, if you ever put in a change, let's put all this, and you're like, no, that doesn't work. Become very familiar with where the undo button is because that'll just instantly backtrack to where it was and you're good to go. If you do need to add something, let's say this was correct for some reason, you'll notice that this is in red. It means it's not saved. That's where you hit this, you hit save or control S or whatever you want and uh, you'll move on. Whenever you make a change to your Lua, you will have to reload you have to unload Lua Sheeta cast and then reload it. And then it'll say loaded profile, Ranger Lua, um, all that good stuff. Um, so, you know, it's it's really handy uh, on White Mage. You know, if I'm casting Stone Skin, it'll automatically put on all my enhancing and plus mine gear and stuff like that. If I'm doing a regen, it'll put on, you know, the the staff from the H E M, it'll it'll put on all my enhancing gear, it'll put on my relic armor that increases, you know, regen potency. It's just super handy. It'll definitely boost your performance. I there's just like no reason not to have it, to be honest. But anyway, that was like a very basic overall explanation of uh, Lua's Sheeta Cast and using Lua's and why, you know, I, I would recommend it. Just make sure that you stay on top of your equipment and the Lua so that when you upgrade or you make changes that it's all accurate and up to date so that you can be performing at your best. But if you have any questions, just, you know, post on the comments or you can reach out to Kluya via the Horizon Discord. But have a great day.